Hey everyone, I'm here in the shop working on two 953s. This one you might recognize from a while back. Um, I went down to Indiana and bought this from a guy named Dave back when coronavirus was first starting out. We call this one Rebel. And that is Joe, like the GI Joe. And this has the 8 horsepower snowblower engine that I haven't been able to kill yet. So, um, those don't much look like uh, plow tractors yet, but hopefully uh, within the next two weeks they will. Because we're going back to Wisconsin to Uncle Jim's plow day. And I got a big old long list of things to do here. And it keeps getting longer. Um, right now I'm working on the throttle cable. And I pretty much have that dialed in. The cable was quite long. And so I, uh, I used the cutoff wheel and took the ends off of the, of the sheathing. And then um, cut the wire to length. Up on the dash tower, I used a couple pair of small vice grips to create a Z-bend for that hole there. And now I just uh, clamp that down on that throttle pivot and clamp the, um, the throttle cable in place. And it seems to be working just fine. Now it's been a while since I actually worked on this, but I do recall that being a pretty big deal. There's a pretty big amount of slop in that. And for now, I've got one of the new $20 carb kits from eBay. Um, I've had some pretty good luck with these before, so I'm going to try it again. So yeah. I have a lot to do in a short amount of time. Um, I guess to go over it, we know we need the carburetor done. The fuel tank needs to be uh, cleaned and the gas cap, the seal is rotten. So I'll probably just borrow either Putt-Putt's cap or get another one from the parts store. Um, I did a video a while back about doing the 69 Chevy C10 cap. Um, the hydraulics are right there is the pump and there's the cylinder. Those need to be installed. I do have a new belt for the hydraulics and I'm okay with that being the rubber V-belt because I don't want any slippage. So I do need to get a new drive belt. Um, I didn't realize but the battery has been holding... Um, charge all summer long so I've just got it on the tender there um, wheel weights tires chains um, fluid fill I am not sure what I'm going to do for sure yet but I do have some inside wheel weights and Uncle Jim said he's got some tires and he might even have a miss uh, dismounted for me by the time I get there um, so I have a couple of tubes and I'll probably just bring a little kit to uh, try to fluid fill them while I'm there. So the tires aren't going to be the best. I probably won't do chains, but I will try to do fluid fill. Um, once I get the fuel line replaced and that fuel tank flushed, I will get it up and running and change the oil again. I'm pretty sure I did that this spring as well, but uh, just for the reason being that we're going to go work it hard we're going to get that taken care of too um, the steering box it's a Ross steering box and um, there's there's just quite a bit of play before you really get very far um, so I think Lane Ranger Lane Ralph he uh, he did a little video or uh, instructional about tightening that steering box. And then, uh, yeah, I've got to replace this seat. 
Riley's going to be riding on this, and this has got quite a bit of a lift to it. And so uh, I've got another um, new cushion that we'll be using from Bob Ellison. Um, this has no hitch or lift cable yet. And uh, that's my things to do. Uh, back when I was working on Norman, I borrowed my father-in-law's pressure washer. And so it worked really good. I finally broke down and bought this off Amazon. It looks like it's a Honda clone similar to the Predators, but it's Tac Life. Um, it just seemed like it's a better deal overall, and there was a sales coupon, so we grabbed it. Um, I'm going to get that up and going before I start much assembly. Um, I'm going to get that all washed off. There's just a bunch of grit and grime, and if I clean that up now I've got a feeling it's just gonna be assembled a whole lot easier so that's my plan and there we have it the new carburetor is on I had to grind off that choke lever it was 180 degrees um, off from where it's at now and behind the choke shaft and uh, as far as the cables go on the wheel horse we need to be able to pull it down to choke it and go up to take the choke off <clears throat> so that's that I do need to keep working on my linkage to make it operate freely 